Hello and welcome to Complexity Limits Guide for the Heroic Prophet Skitra Encounter, written and produced by Crazy Puck in coordination with Complexity Limit, brought to you by GameStop. Skitra has two phases, a primary phase and an intermission phase which will be repeated multiple times. Before you pull the boss, you'll want to put raid markers throughout the room, four on each side. You'll need to use these later to coordinate during the intermission. You should tank the boss in the middle of the room, always facing away from the raid. You'll want to tank swap every 7-8 to eight stacks of Shadow Shock. The rest of the raid should be stacked in melee range behind the boss. The tank not currently holding the boss should be stacked with the rest of the raid until it's your turn to taunt. If you get the Shred Psyche debuff, you'll need to move 8 yards outside of the group. When the debuff ends, an ad will spawn wherever you are. This ad will immediately begin a 5 second cast. After this cast ends, the tank should move the boss directly on top of the ad, and the raid should follow. Everybody should swap and nuke the ad ASAP. Periodically, images of absolution will spawn from the sides of the room. They'll proceed to walk in straight lines from one side to the other. You'll want one pre-assigned person to crowd control the image that's walking directly towards the raid so it can't reach you. Any type of CC is fine, but preferably use things like freezing trap, entangling roots, blind, etc. If you're hit by one of the images, it'll deal heavy damage to you and you'll probably die so you don't really want that to happen. They're immune to damage for 30 seconds, but once that immunity drops, they'll die from a single hit. When the boss reaches 80%, 60%, 40%, or 20% health, you'll enter the intermission phase. Half of the raid will get a debuff called Clouded Mind, the other half will get a debuff called Twisted Mind. Seven illusions of Skitra will spawn around the room. However, only four are visible by any single person, which is determined by what debuff you have. Only a single illusion is visible to both groups. This one is the real Skitra. Your raid leader should call out which debuff they have, and then one by one go through the raid markers where they can see an illusion. An assigned player with the opposite debuff needs to reply yes or no, whether they see an illusion there as well. After you identify the correct illusion, the raid should stack under it and nuke it. Healers will want to use raid cooldowns here as there's a lot of damage going out during this phase. If you kill the wrong illusion, the raid takes massive damage and will probably wipe. Once you've killed the correct illusion, you'll re-enter the primary phase. Continue going between the primary and intermission phases until the boss is dead. As a note, it's very likely a weak aura will be created to help you out in the intermission phase. If we find the good one, we'll include a link for it in the description below. Thanks for watching. We hope you found the guide helpful. If you'd like more details on this encounter or how it works, please click the link below to our written guide. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find the rest of our Nihilotha boss guides right here on our channel or at complexity.gg. For more content like this, follow Complexity on Twitter and subscribe to their YouTube channel. To keep up with Limit's Race for World First, follow them on Twitter. Happy rating!